What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking to Nike Dunk Low Palm Eclipse. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive into today's video, man. We're talking to Nike Dunk Low, Palm Eclipse. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release June 8th to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $120, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price, and right now, look like they're averaging $150 and up, depending on the size, right? Okay, now, speaking of sizing, this is a women exclusive sneaker, meaning these go up to a man size 10 and a half, fellas. If you're 10 and a half and under, you can fit this sneaker, right? Okay, now I did feature this shoe on the top anticipated sneakers of June 2023, right? Okay, so June 2023, top uh, anticipated sneakers, this was on a list. Now, it's plum. Now, when you think of plum, and I do want to get one more glance at this shoe, and it's purple, right? Obviously, right? Now, I remember, like, growing up in the projects a little bit before I moved out closer to where Dunks live, right? Okay, so Dunks probably don't know this part of my life, but also I was much younger at that time me and my mom we stayed up in the projects a little bit now one of the things that grew outside of the project gates was plums so i remember me and the guys back then would actually go pick out plums and actually eat them right okay so um they do turn purple but before they turn purple in my opinion they are green right okay at least the ones we had in our neighborhood but now we got a plum like actual colorway now from what i'm hearing from other reviews y'all know i like watch a lot of sneaker youtube the toe box is actually more of a suede material to the best of my knowledge and on the inside of things it looks like it's kind of like a different type of material not the typical dunks that we're anticipating now if i had to guess this is more like a premium dunk even though it doesn't have it in the title now overall not a bad shoe now i gotta get this one two different ratings when i really really deep down think about it because to be honest honestly i probably can just give it one rating now that i think about it like i think i'm gonna stick to one rating overall not a bad shoe and again i'm gonna say this nike is gearing us up perfectly for summertime because summertime is like it's right here, man. Pretty much, this is what? Spring, but we're pretty much right. Spring and summer kind of go hand in hand, but we're most likely the summer. I feel like this is going to be a dope summer shoe. I think Nike's handing us out with a whole lot of options so you can be versatile. Now, if your sneaker collection is not where you want it to be, I feel like this is a nice shoe to add additionally to that, right? Okay, a good beat a shoe where if something goes wrong, you won't be mad if it messes up, right? Okay, um... Other than that, not nothing particularly that really sticks out where I'm just like going crazy over, but at the same time, it's something I wouldn't write home about it. But it's a shoe that I personally wouldn't pay resale for, right? If that makes sense. Retail wise, I'm all for it. So obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and rate these drip, right? Okay, I know everybody thinks I skip everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and rate these drip. Now, if I can pick these up for retail, or if you have a boo, because this is more catered to the ladies, right? If you have a boo, you know, pick this up for your boo. I think if your boo is into this colorway, I can see a lot of ladies rocking these. So for the ladies, right? I'm going to relate it for the ladies, right? Drip for the ladies. Drip for us, fellas, if you can fit the size, but drip for the ladies. Overall, not a bad shoe, but I can see why this could be catered to the ladies as well, man. Overall, not a bad shoe, but again, it's kind of one of those, if you don't catch it for retail, it's like on to the next. That's just how I feel about it. Overall, not a bad shoe. So for the kid, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the drip category. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. Will you be going after these? And I believe they're releasing, what, June 8th to the best of knowledge. And, of course, for $120. So let me know if you'll be going after these on June 8th, retailing at $120. And, of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing inside. I'm rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.